Um, and touching on you talking about sharing publicly, and it would have been very easy to kind of fall into the shadows. I know that for me specifically, this is something that I struggle with and I'm constantly working on because I like when it comes to like failing or fear of failure, that's something that's extremely prevalent within my life. And it's a reason to a certain degree, of course, my mental headspace plays into it. And I've talked about that within preps of why I haven't shared everything is more of like my mental sanity. And that's 100% true. But when I look at it, a lot of times I don't like to share things because, again, I'm afraid of how they're going to turn out, and I'd rather that be something that I experience and not have the whole world see um, or not feel like a failure in front of everyone. And it's something that, like, for example, if I look back and think, like, the first program I ever released when it was Sue Gaines Coaching, I wasn't a part of PD yet. I was so excited. I thought I was going to make all this money, and I sold six And that was extremely disappointing to pour so much into something and be so excited and then feel like it just flopped and have multiple experiences like that. And then all of my show days feel like that of I and Alex and I talked about this the other day as well of every single show day I've gotten up there, I have fallen short of the goal that I've set up for myself. Of my first show ever, I got ninth place in a regional show. Then my second show, which um, was I don't, it's not a great experience either. Something where I got third in again and fell short of that qualification and really put my hormones in a poor spot. Um, Then going into our wedding and then in 2020 of um, it being a very, very, very small class and me not even winning that class and then going on and placing, tying for last place at a national show in front of coaches and competitors that I really admire and look up to and just felt so embarrassed and front of everyone like I was just standing up there like ev- well basically everything was showing but uh, standing up there feeling so embarrassed of all these people just saw me fall on my face and then when it comes to like this prep of being in the spot of do I want that to happen again can I handle falling again and having to fall in front of multiple people um, and it's something that I still struggle with. I'm not perfect, but I'm glad that I'm putting myself in those uncomfortable situations because I was having an internal dialogue in between prejudging and finals of like, oh, Sue, you're being realistic with yourself and it's important to be realistic. But at the same time, it's important to have hope and confidence in what you've set out and what you can achieve. And I think I have a hard balance between those because my realistic normally goes to not exactly realistic, but worse than realistic of that not worst case scenario, but just not like a positive situation. And so I falter between those two of, hey, how can I have confidence, but also understand that there's a chance that this isn't going to work out. And that's something that I'm constantly trying to figure out and balance and learn through. And now I'm doing it in front of thousands and thousands of people, which is difficult to do. But I'm very proud of myself for continuing to show up and continuing to put myself in these hard situations. Because just like within training, if you have to stress your body for it to grow and for it to change, you have to do the same thing mentally. You have to put yourself in hard situations to be able to grow from it. If you want to be able to embrace the suck of like a hard training session or a prep or whatever it may be, you have to train yourself to embrace that suck and you have to get reps in. As we've talked about on the podcast of talking about what we learn from posting on social media or posting consistently, Like you have to get reps in to get better at talking publicly, talking better on camera, being able to fine tune your message. You have to get those reps in. The same thing within being able to get mentally tougher. You have to put yourself in situations because if you just put yourself in the same situations, you're not ever going to change. And so it's something that even though it sucks and it's hard and all these different emotions, I'm very proud that I did put myself in that situation that would result in me being embarrassed or not feeling my best because I feel like I'm going to be able to take something from this and to grow and to learn and to continue to improve as a human being, which is my end goal as a whole. 